Hello viewer, hello internet, this is Overcrumbled, I am Damien, and in this video I am going to run you through how to play any title update for the Xbox 360 version of Minecraft. Yeah, all right. There's going to be a couple of things that you need, you obviously need a Xbox 360 to start off with, um, I think this technically works with the, the emulators that you can find on the internet, but as I've got actual hardware I'm not going to bother running you through how to do, set up an emulator or anything like that, or download a pirated version of the game. I'm just going to do this for people that have legit hardware um, and a legit copy of the game. You can obviously use, like, the standard version, the old version of the, the Xbox. That's uh, Resident Evil 5 Xbox there, the original one. Or you can use uh, the S. I think you could use the E. I've never actually seen uh, an Xbox E in my life with my own eyes. I've seen pictures of them, but I've never actually seen one. Um, you'll also need a USB stick. Or something like that this is a 16 gig one focus camera focus just gonna focus don't focus on me don't focus on my lovely face focus on this usb stick it's not gonna do it is it you pay all this money for stuff there we go 16 gig there we go um i don't think you can buy usb sticks that are lower than like 16 gig anymore you might have an old one kicking about somewhere that's a lot a lot smaller I think the minimum size for a USB stick that a 360 will recognize is 3 gig. So, yeah, just trial and error, really. I don't know if they're all compatible. Um, for instance, this one, this is a SanDisk. Oh, I just dropped it. <coughs> this is a SanDisk one. This is only recognized on one of the five USB ports on my 360S, which is one of the, one of the ones on the back. There's three on the back and two at the front. If I don't put a, plug it in anything but the middle one, middle one, Middle one, fingers work, fingers, middle one. Um, it's not recognized. Right, um, enough jabbering. You also need a copy of the game, clearly. <laughs> so either the download version or the disc version. If you want to play updates one through to eight, you have to have the download version. If you have the disc version, you won't be able to play anything below nine because the disc comes with title update night nine burned on it. So bear that in mind. If you want to play one through to eight, that's pre-end, so anything pre-end, because title up at 9 added the end. So if you want to play 360 version without the end, you need the download version. You also obviously need the updates. So I'll put a link in the description below the video. Um, if you're on your console app or your TV app, you won't be able to see that. So you'll have to go on desktop or your phone or something to see that link. That will send you to archive.org, where there's a, a, a link. It's just a torrent with every single update on it. It's the only one I can find that has every single title update on it from 1 to 75. 75 being the last one. Yeah, obviously the last one. You'd also need a little tool called Horizon, which is like a game modifier type thing. Um, don't worry, you won't get banned from Xbox Live for using it. It's literally all you're using it for. You're not game hacking, you're not doing anything like that. All you're doing is putting an official Microsoft released update on a USB stick and stick it in your Xbox and copying it. That's all you're doing. You're not modifying game files. You're not modifying anything like that. You're not going to get banned. Trust me, you ain't going to get banned. I've used it multiple times. It's fine. You're not going to get banned. All right, enough of seeing my beautiful face full screen. Let's, uh, where are we? Here we are. Right, uh, it's all gone to sleep. Wake up, three, six. There we go. Right, so you want to go across to your settings, go into system. And first thing we'll do is we'll go into storage. Select your storage device where your games are, games and apps. And then scroll down to Minecraft. Wow, well, I didn't realize I had so many games just on this hard drive. Minecraft. And if there's any existing title update, delete it. If you've got any DLC like skin packs and that, and you wanted to play one of the really old versions of Minecraft, you're gonna have to delete them because I think the game will it did it to me anyway. It, it froze the whole console because it's looking for files that don't exist. So yeah, this is just title update one. So for the purpose of this video, delete it. What you want to be doing is left with just the 360 game. Right, so back back out, back out. Back out to this bit where you see your storage devices, and this is where you're gonna stick your USB stick in. So I'm gonna go and do that now. There we go, middle one, USB storage device. 
bear in mind when you do you need to format this stick in a 360 for it to work so if you've got anything on said usb stick you need to get like it copied off somewhere else because it will format it and delete everything so bear that in mind press y format yes all this is doing is setting up the file folder structure for the for the xbox to recognize and if it's in a different format it should like format it into the right one that it needs fat 32 i think it is right now we need to go back to the desktop so on the left hand side i've got the updates in this folder on the right hand side this is the horizon tool i don't think you need to be signed in or anything like that you can just find the link for the download in the description again you're not going to get banned from xbox live or anything like that you literally just take in official updates and sticking them on a usb stick the yeah, xbox has no idea that that isn't like coming from microsoft directly what you will need to do is right click on the minecraft or wherever you've downloaded the updates go to properties they will be read only if you keep them read only they will not copy to the usb stick and just keep getting errors so uncheck read only apply apply to all changes and sub sub files and folders so going to go into the updates i'm just going to for now use title update one what you want to do is just drag it to your desktop and then go to the horizon thing uh app and see what it says inject new file here click on that go to wherever your file is and then install it obviously depending on how big the update is because some of the later updates are like 1.3 gig or something it'll take longer than this it's like a three megabyte file uh just click okay you can see where the title updates has taken if you go into the title update bit here there, there we are three megabyte file that's title update one right so we're going to safely eject this pull it out stick it into the xbox we should go back to the xbox back to system storage go to the usb device games and apps minecraft 360 edition that's the patch there click on it a few times move it to where the game is whatever storage device you've got the game on it'll just automatically move it in there go back just check that to see that it's actually gone in should do i've never had this not not work I had so many games. There we go. Minecraft title update, three megabyte. That's title update one. So that's basically the launch day patch. That's the, when the day, the day that it came out, this would have been fed to people via Xbox Live. Go back. We should go down to recent. Play some Minecraft. There we go. Right, you'll get prompted if you're connected to xbox live you'll get prompted to download a patch this is title update 75 this is the last patch so you don't want to do that obviously that's why you're here watching this video so go to cancel and then there we are this is minecraft title update one um i don't think there's any way of telling you how what it is there's a number there at the bottom left of the screen just above select and back in gray 066 0086 so the minecraft 360 edition is based on java i think the same with the playstation version as well um have a quick go in uh, continue playing offline you will not be able to play these old versions of the game offline uh, online you can't do it you can if you connect to xbox live it will force you to download the latest version of the game which is title update 75 so you want to play the old ones you have to play offline i assume local multiplayer will work at this point still because these consoles were designed to be played offline as well as online not like the new ones nowadays it's on old as fuck when i say that oh oh this brings back memories so many memories oh right i don't think you can even sprint in this can you it, it's not even you can't sprint half the blocks are missing and uh, there's not even a hunger bar 
I've had a look online and some of the like notable title updates, like the first few, uh, had like quite drastic things. So half the blocks are missing in this game at the moment. There's like not even any pistons or anything like that in this version. Uh, there's no Enderman until later on. Title update five adds hunger bar and like food mechanics. Um, title update seven adds enchanting. Title update nine is which is the disc version adds the end. Title update twelve adds its support for texture packs, mashup packs, and it changes the tutorial world as well. So I'll have a look at that in a minute. Title update fifteen and onwards, that's when the Xbox One and PS4 versions of the game were released. So that's when they I would have stopped playing that at that point and would switch to the Xbox One version, but they got updated along with each other all still based on java so i'm gonna go back to the main menu exit exit without saving and in a second using the magic of editing i'll be in title update five no oh here we are in minecraft one uh title update five let's go down does that number come up again if i go into controls it does this is now 1.8.2.0134.0 i don't know what those numbers mean because these 360 versions are based on like old java versions at the time when java and this were out at the same time java would be ahead and these would be behind in my features and stuff so this apparently adds hunger in the game. Welcome back. You may not have noticed, but your Minecraft has just been updated. What's new features? Creative mode. Oh, actually, it wasn't even creative mode until now. Hunger. Now you get hungry. I still don't know if you can die from this, from hunger in this game or not, on the 360. Sprinting. Yay, you can run around. Enderman. Silverfish. I hate silverfish. Who the hell? Who, who likes silverfish? No one. No one. Pointless enemy. Pointless. What's called sliverfish? In this? Sliver? I thought it was silverfish. Have I played this game this entire time thinking they're called silverfish and they're actually called sliverfish? Case spiders, new terrain, strongholds. Yeah, so every time you do a new version of the game, you'll get this update. Because as far as it's concerned, it's bloody, it's like 2012 or whatever. And then this is exactly the same. It's taken forever. Not just over half a million followers on Twitter. Fantastic. Well done. This just looks exactly the same. Apart from the hunger bar, this looks the same to me. Those fires weren't there before, were they? I don't think so. I can now sprint. Yeah. Yeah, man. Sprint. How do you jump? All right. Hey. Oh, there we go. Old Minecraft Steve. Hello, Steve. Um. Yeah. I'll quickly go into title update seven. Wah! I said I was going to go into title update seven. I lied. This is title update 12. Um. Oh, this is completely different. All this. This is version 1.2.0.222.0 underscore DLC. This apparently has a new tutorial world. I have never played. The only tutorial world I've ever played on. Yeah. New items. Redstone. Redstone. Lamps. New mobs. Ocelots. Maybe villagers. Zion golems. You can now build 256 blocks into the air. New tutorial world. Um, oh, I've never seen this world before. I've never seen the tutorial world. This is different, man. Where's the Minecraft logo in the sky? Oh, it's just further away. Draw distance on the 360 is dog shit. Why can't I get up here? Invisible walls. I hate invisible walls. Um, yeah. That's that. So using this method, you can just chop and change whatever title update you want. Uh, I'll just I'll show you now how to get rid of the other one. So 
obviously this is the, the USB sticks back in my uh, computer now. You just go to the title update, it says the update there. Right click it, delete. And then you can just add another one in. I'll just add update seven again. There we go. Done. Problem. There we go. Problem solved. Nice one. So yeah, just use that method to play any any of the updates you want. Remember, if you've got the disc version, you can't go below update nine. It should technically work on an emulator, but I've never done it because I don't need to because I've got original hardware. Um, I won't be offering <laughs> any support on emulators. Don't bother asking because I don't know how to use a 360 emulator because I've never done it. Never done it. Pretty up to date with my emulators, but yeah, I've never used that one before. So if this video has helped you out, give us a like and consider subscribing. Right. Enjoy playing your old versions of Minecraft. See you later. No, don't turn it back on.